biosphere and its components. What is biosphere? The biosphere is the most comprehensive unit of natural organization. The section of the earth containing living organisms is known as the biosphere. It can also be defined as the part of the earth in which the ecosystem exits. Although the earth's atmosphere extends approximately 1,600 kilometers above, but living organisms are found to reach only up to 7 to 8 kilometers in the air above the sea level. Likewise in water, living organisms are not found beyond the depth of 5 kilometers. Thus, the maximum extent of 13 kilometers in which living beings are assigned is termed as the biosphere. This extent of 13 kilometers is, therefore, the life-supporting span of the Earth. The physical portion of the biosphere consists of following three subdivisions. Hydrosphere Lithosphere Atmosphere Hydrosphere The region of the Earth covering water bodies is called hydrosphere. It holds 73% of the Earth's total surface and is a major element of the lithosphere and the atmosphere. Water is also the most plentiful component of existence matter. Lithosphere The solid components, the rocky substance of the regions form the lithosphere. The lithosphere not only furnishes most mineral nutrients to all animals but it also forms the sand base of soil specifically required by terrestrial plants and by numerous subterranean animals. Atmosphere Atmosphere constitutes the gaseous components of the Earth that envelop the lithosphere and hydrosphere. The hydrosphere, lithosphere, and atmosphere include the non-living or abiotic components of the biosphere. Each of the subdivisions gives raw materials for the formation and sustaining of the alive body. The hydrosphere provides water, the lithosphere provides minerals and the atmosphere supplies oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide gases necessary for the various functions of the living world. The materials from the above three subdivisions keep on circulating to keep their stock intact. The biosphere consists, in addition to the abiotic component, includes all the living organisms, plants, animals, and microbes. Biosphere, all the ecosystem of the world. Each ecosystem is made up of non-living components. Living components Inorganic components Organic components Climatic factors Producers Consumers Decomposers Interaction between biotic and abiotic components There is a vast interdependence between the two. We Human beings interact with each other and depend on them for our needs food, nutrients, gases from the air, water, and soil. We also help to maintain a balance in the atmospheric gases. The minerals and other natural things needed for life by the living things never get exhausted as they are recycled again and again. The energy required for life to exist in the biosphere comes from the sun. The solar energy gets trapped by plants to manufacture their food. This energy gets transferred from one living form to another through food chains and food webs operating in the biosphere. All living organisms choose their habitats which suit them for their survival, flourishing, and breeding. Generally, a particular habitat supports several kinds of living organisms. For instance, Lakes are habitats for fishes, frogs, various plants, and insects while forests, besides having a variety of plants, are a good habitat for animals, birds, and insects. 
Our interaction with each other plus our dependence on natural resources makes an ecosystem.